This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm speaking at the annual meeting of the European Hematology Association in Berlin. I'm speaking to Dr. Matthias Rummel, who is um, head of the Division of Hematology at the University of Geisen in Germany. Dr. Rummel just gave a presentation on using rhomboplastin to um, treat ITP patients and having a finding uh, of a uh, effect on the splenectomy rate in those patients. So Dr. Rimmel, could you uh, please tell us about that finding, the impact on splenectomy of the treatment? Yes, the splenectomy is a very often recommended uh, treatment option um, for patients in relapsed disease situation of ITP. But always uh, patients do not like this option and they feel very anxious to have a big operation like this. And also the chance of having a benefit of this operation is only in the end 50 by 50 percent. So some patients um, say this is not a good um, 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 chance for me 50 by 50 to do such a big operation. So the big goal of the study was to avoid uh, splenectomy in order to have a potent compound as medication available which can increase the platelet that you do not need the splenectomy as a treatment option. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it reduced the, uh, the use of splenectomy by about 80 percent, was it? Uh, uh, no, not 80 percent. I, I don't remember quite exactly. I relatively the hazard ratio. It was 35 percent mm -hmm. patients experience the splenectomy is the standard of care arm mm -hmm. um, compared to only five or so percent or eight percent in the romiplastin arm. Right, so, so that an 80 percent relative risk reduction. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, relative risk reduction, absolute right. risk reduction and so on, yes. And, and this is the first, uh, so although there have been um, placebo controlled cells that led to the approval of romiplastin, this is the first study that actually has looked at a splenectomy endpoint um, in a controlled way. And also the first study who compared it not only to placebo but to a standard of care treatment. So all other patients who have been not randomized to romiplastin received some other drugs as cyclophosphamide, danosol, rituxin, steroids, immunoglobulins, atasioprine and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So it was a comparison against another treatment. Right. Also it was not well defined because the doctors could choose anything they want as a standard of care because there is no standard of care in the relapsed disease situation of ITP. Only splenectomy would be the standard of care. This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network.